Hey everybody, I'm back today with Maggie Holmes Monday Layout. So, I have my photo, which is of my niece and my two nephews at their uh, school band concert. Such a nice picture my sister took, so I really wanted to scrapbook it. Uh, for my challenge today, I am taking on a challenge over at Scrap and Happy Studio on Instagram. So Jenny designed these really gorgeous flare sets, and she's running a challenge to see who, how they can be used on layouts. So I went ahead and got the flares, and I'm going to create a layout with them today. And then if you're interested, I will leave the uh, Scrap and Happy Studio Instagram account in the description box. You can come play along. Uh, for a messy May, I'm going to use this stuff again. <laughs> this is the Shimmer Mist in Pearl. And I'm going to pair the mist and my papers with this fun stamp set from Altenew called Flower Garden. And I'm going to be using a sketch. Okay. So here is the sketch. This is a sketch that is designed by me. And I will post it on my Instagram, Facebook, in the Rediscover Your Stash group. It's a really good one if you want some messy bits and bobs on your page. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. I'm going to pick a background paper and get stamping. So let's go ahead and get started. I decided on this pretty pink ledger paper for my background. So the sketch I'm using... Uh, calls for four strips of pattern paper or you could use washi tape you could use borders whatever you want I'm just going to use one inch strips of pattern paper and there's going to be four strips across the bottom and then two thinner strips across the top uh, that pretty black and white floral that you see back there I'm actually going to fussy cut a bunch of the flowers out of that paper and use it to accent uh, the stamping that we're going to do as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut all these strips of paper and then I'm going to go ahead and get an idea of where these strips of paper are going to go. And once I know where I'm going to place the strips of paper, I'm going to give myself a little uh, pencil mark. This is going to help me because once I know where the strips of paper are going to go and I place that pencil mark, I'm going to place my background paper into my ginormous Misty and we're going to do some stamping. So I have a memory Misty, which means I can fit a 12 by 12 sheet of paper in it and actually have room to spare, which is really nice. So I can stamp like off the edge of papers and things. This flower garden stamp set from Altenew, if I can find it, I will link it up in the comments in the description box because it is amazing. It is one of the most amazing um, flower stamp sets for scrapbookers. So I am just going to ink up using my Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink and uh, I'm just I'm not going to color these flowers. I am just stamping them in black ink. Uh, it's going to provide a lot of contrast and interest. I love how this finished layout turned out. I absolutely love it. I, um, I'm really, really happy that it turned out as good as it did. It really did turn out nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp these flowers really simply exactly where they appear on the sketch. And I will stamp some of these flowers twice just to get a really nice deep black impression uh, and kind of reinforce the drawn lines on the flowers. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some messy, messy detail. So I'm starting with some black ink splatter. I'm going to go ahead and liberally splatter everything I always put like to splatter bef and then kind of build my layout on top of the splatter, which means I need more on my layout than what I think I need on my layout. So I'm really going to be pretty heavy handed with the black splatter. And then after the black is done, I'm going to come in with that beautiful, gorgeous pearl shimmer mist from Brutus Monroe. And I am going to go ahead and do the same thing. So 
heavy handed splatter and then I'm going to let everything set up and dry completely. I know I've been talking about this pearl shimmer mist for like videos on top of videos but you guys it's so pretty and I don't even think that the video shows it off. It I am in awe. Every time I do a layout with it, I come back after it's dry and I'm just like, wow, that is so gorgeous. Uh, I I just, I'm loving it. 100% my favorite splattery thing ever, including the Heidi Shine. Um, so, you know, take that for what it's worth. But I like this better than I like the gold color shine. It's fabulous. Just fabulous. Next up. It's time to map my photo. So I'm going to map my photo with both this like pink gingham paper and with that lovely kind of teal geometric pattern paper. All of my papers today are from Maggie Holmes. They're from different lines, different collections. They're all from my stash. So they're all older lines. I actually... I know Shop Car, but I haven't purchased any of Maggie's newest line yet uh, because my container that I keep my Maggie Home Supplies in is overflowing and I just want to use it a little bit, make a little room before I get more new. Um, and so I have like so many, you guys know my Maggie Home stash is intense, which is why I decided to kind of skip the, her newest collection, hoping that maybe at some point in the future I can grab some of it. And that would be perfectly fine by me because it is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and put in all of these beautiful strips and see because I made those pencil marks, it's gonna, they're going to hit exactly the way I want them to. And then, then I am going to go ahead and do the top strips as well. Once I have my photo mat, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of little tuck pieces. These are going to go on the right side beside my photo, and then I can place those gorgeous canvas flares, three of them, down the left side of my photo, and that keeps things balanced and colorful, and you can kind of see how the flare is going to almost mimic those three little butterflies that are in the tag that are on the right side of my photo. So I'm going to go ahead and try to decide now whether I really want more of the black and white flowers and if I want to fussy cut some of these from the pattern paper. And I decide that I do, so I'm just kind of placing them there to kind of get an idea of what they will look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut those three flowers that I've chosen. And then finally, I am going to go ahead and adhere everything down. Keep in mind when you use canvas layers from Scrap and Happy Studio that you need to put them onto your pages with dry glue. We don't want them to rust. We don't want them to warp. Um, so use red line tape or uh, you can use tear it tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. You can use a tape runner. Uh, whatever you think would be the best. I really recommend like the tear it tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps or Redline Tape. That seems to be the best. Um, you can see here, I'm popping it on with just my tape runner, but I don't know how long that will stay. I have been known to be putting layouts away and having the flares that I've put on with just tape runner fall off and then I need to reapply them with the tear it tape. So I probably will have to re-adhere these down. And I kind of knew that going in. I was just being lazy to this day and I was loving what I was doing. I was excited that I was finally like feeling inspired. So I just kind of popped in, popped them on with my uh, tape runner, knowing full well, I would probably have to go back on it and hear them later. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my title up at the top. And my title is just going to say spring concert 2023. Simple and easy. Uh, I wasn't feeling super title artistic for this layout and I wanted to keep the title really simple and we have a uh, you know all this pretty color and other things going on on the page so that's what I went with uh, I am just using a alphabet set from my stash I think this was a paper person one and it's probably two or three years old at least so um yeah once we have 
I have my title stamped. This layout is done. Here are all of the close-ups. I hope you've enjoyed this Maggie Holmes Monday video today. Be sure to check the description box because both Crystal and Gwen are playing along with me today. And you can find links to their videos down below. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.